Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I turned this old looking dark brown dresser and turned it into this more modern white and fresh dresser. I'm also going to show you guys how I decorated the top of it and everything that I use for it. Okay, so step one is to empty out the drawers. This was a perfect opportunity to actually organize what was inside too and get rid of so many things so our dresser could not only look cute from the outside but be nice and organized inside as well. Next, we are going to remove all of the drawers from its base. This is going to differ from dresser to dresser, but it's pretty common to have two clips on the sides of the drawers. And if you just push them in opposite directions, the drawer should just pop right out. If your dresser has more drawers than mine, you might want to label them so that you know how to put them back later. Mine was super simple, so I didn't have to do that. All right, so step three is to remove all of the hardware. You're gonna need a screwdriver and you're just gonna go on the back of the knobs and screw them all off. Make sure to put them in a safe spot. I put mine in a Ziploc bag. And if your dresser has different hardware for different drawers or something like that, you might wanna label them too so that you know how to put them back later. For me, that wasn't necessary because all of my knobs were the same. All right, so step four is to prep everything to begin painting, and that means to sand everything down. I'm using an electric sander because it's a lot faster, but normal sandpaper should work too if that's all that you have. I'm gonna go over all of the drawers and the actual base of the dresser too, and I'm just gonna rough up the surfaces so that the paint can adhere to them properly. The next step is to wipe everything clean. You wanna get all the residue and oils off because you don't want any of that getting stuck in the paint because it will show, especially if you're using the white paint. And you don't want any oils on there because it'll prevent the paint from adhering to the drawers properly. All right, now it's time for the fun part, which is painting. Um, I always use this chalked paint for all of my furniture projects and it works amazing, but I wanted to try this type of paint, which is the same brand. And I said, okay, let me try it and see how it works out. I got it in the set and finish and the color is Blossom White. Everything will be linked down below, but this is what the can looks like. And that's what I would be using for this project. I began by using a normal painting brush, but when I started, I saw that it was giving me a lot of streaks, so I ended up switching to a foam brush, which worked a lot better, so I would recommend the foam brush over the normal like bristle painting brush. Here you could see me using a roller, which was way faster and easier, it didn't leave any um, brush marks or streaks or anything so I would totally recommend using the roller from the start and then you're going to need like a tiny little detailing brush if your dresser has little details like mine to get into the smaller spaces that the roller or the foam brush couldn't get into but this is what everything looks like after the first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for two hours before I apply the next layer of paint. This is what everything looked like after the second coat and now I'm going to go ahead and let it dry for two hours. Now after that is dry I actually went over it with the electric sander again because I wanted to get rid of any bumps or any streak marks so I just sanded it again to make sure it was extra smooth. I wiped it clean and then applied the final coat of paint. 
So here I was just showing you how I did switch over to the roller on like the last layer of paint. I recommend just doing this from the start. Use the roller. It's faster. Gives the dresser a way better finish than any of the other ones. It does sound a little bit confusing, but I'll just put it in the description box um, which paintbrushes I use for everything. And now this is what everything looks like after the three coats of paint and you're going to want to let it dry overnight and be really locked in because now we're going to apply the top coat. You want it to be super dry before you apply this top coat. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Clear Gloss. You can choose whatever finish you like. I think the matte finish would look really, really nice. And so my initial thoughts was because the roller worked so well with the paint that it was going to work just as well for the top coat. But I was actually wrong because it left so many bubbles when you apply it. So you're not going to actually want to use the roller for the top coat. You're going to want to go ahead and use a foam brush. So use a roller for the paint and a foam brush for the top coat. I applied two layers of this top coat, letting it dry for like about an hour between the two coats. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and spray paint the knobs. Go ahead and lay something down on your surface so that you don't get spray paint everywhere and place your knobs down. I'm using again Rust-Oleum brand spray paint in ultra matte black. And it's really easy to spray paint the knobs and then once they dry, flip them over and spray the bottoms. This is what the finished knobs look like. They look amazing and smooth. They don't even look like they're painted at all. Now let's go ahead and reattach all of the hardware. Same way that you took them off, you're just gonna wanna simply screw them back on. And then you can reinsert your drawers the same way that you took them out. And that is it. That is the finished product. Okay, time to get into what I did to decorate the top. I began by getting some inspiration on Pinterest. I started to really like the whole cluttered plants and greenery look, so that is exactly what I did for my dresser. Um, to begin, I placed this big round woven basket to act as like a background for everything and bring in those brown tones that I wanted to bring in. I'm now placing this gorgeous long vine plant. I, I love this plant so much and since I wanted the vine to actually dangle down, I placed it on this random container just so that it would give it some height and it would actually dangle. Now these flowers are from the dollar store. They're three different bundles and together they look great. I placed them inside of this cute dainty glass jug that I had and placed it on top of the dresser. Next, I am adding this little geometric cactus plant. And next is this large one that's like in a white um, glass planter and it's really pretty, it matches the theme. And then I'm placing these leaves stem things. They're so cute, I love how the color is like a washed out green and they're three different stems and I placed them in the same dainty little glass jug that I did the dollar store flowers in as well. I also placed this little cactus jewelry holder and it's holding some of my earrings that I wear often. Last but not least is this frame that matches the brown of the basket and I'm actually going to put a painting that my sister painted to bring out the yellow in, in the other plants that I have over there. And this is the final product. I'm so happy with how it came out. I hope this was helpful to you guys and you guys are able to do this at home and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.